P. Nagraj. He is currently working as assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, Anna University, Chennai. Earlier, he worked as a scientist in charge at Spices Board of India for five years in research and development and also in quality control laboratory. He has finished his PhD in organic chemistry at IIT, Delhi. He has also done his MSc Chemical Science at Pondicherry Central University. He has published six papers in international journal and also participated several international events in India and abroad. He has attended several conferences and delivered lecture as keynote speaker and also undergone 12 training programs. His area of research interests are isolation, synthesis of natural products and evaluation of their biological activities, carbohydrate-based natural product synthesis, enzyme catalyst organic synthesis, green chemistry, medicinal aspects of spices and spice products. Welcome to UG's lecture series in polymer science. Today we are going to discuss the topic of natural and synthetic fibers and its properties. Content of today's lecture is fabrics, fibers, yarns, natural fibers, filament, manufactured fibers and deniers. Uh, these are all the content we are going to discuss in this class. So, first what is fabrics and fibers? Fabrics are long pieces of cloth that is called fabrics. Designers work directly with the fabrics, trapping and folding it into fashion creations. You can see so many folding will be there. This kind of activity can be done by designers uh, especially with fabrics. Characteristics of uh, fibers which is uh, belongs to again the basic building block of fabrics are fibers. So, fabric the cloth material which is made up of fibers this is the basic materials. Fibers are thin hair like strands that are in the basic units used to make fabric textile products. So, which is a thin and a hair like a material which is called a fabric a large number of fabric which is in uh, together will produce fibers. So, that will give uh, the cloth materials. Types of uh, fibers and yarns, fibers are spun into yarn. So, whatever fiber that can be converted to yarn, yarns are uninterrupted threads of textile fibers that are ready to be turned into fabrics. So, in between fiber and fabrics, uh, if you more number of fibers connected together and make it like a thread like one which is called yarns which is a more strength than fiber. Uh, it may be natural originates from natural sources and uh, some of them are plant or animal based one and manufactured synthetic or man made is artificial yarns or originates from the chemical sources may also be from regenerated or recycled sources. So, some of the examples shown here are natural fibers especially the first one is uh, natural fibers are textile fibers made from plants or animals in both way animal also and plants can also produce natural fibers. Cellulose is examples of uh, natural fibers uh, which is produced from cottons uh, from cotton plants and another one is a flax uh, this uh, product also produced from uh, stems. Another is a uh, protein, protein is a uh, silk and wool belongs to protein fibers. Uh, silk can be from cocoons of silkworms, wool from fleas or sheep or lambs. So, these are all the sources for producing wool. Characteristics of uh, natural fibers are usually which is very good absorbent which is can absorb more amount of uh, waters or comfortable which is used as a comfortable one and the third one is a cooler to wear. If you wear that material our body will get cooling effect and the fourth one is uh, wrinkle more. So, more number of wrinkle will be there and they shrink when washed while washing it will get shrinkage. So, these are all the uh, properties of uh, natural fibers. Uh, main natural fibers are uh, commonly used uh, natural fibers are cotton, linen, wool, silk. These four are majorly used uh, natural fibers. Uh, first one is uh, cotton. So, this is the picture shows uh, cotton uh, which is uh, cellulosic fiber from balls growing on bushes, environmentally friendly cotton can be grown in range of colors, different colors also we can be grown. Main textile products of China and Mexico, uh, cotton is the main textile product 
and made into a wide range of wearing apparel. So, we can make several or uh, different types of uh, wearing appearance using cottons uh, with the basic materials uh, which is present in cellulose. Cellulose is this basic uh, fiber material of uh, cotton. Uh, cotton have some advantages and also it have some disadvantages. Uh, if you take cotton fibers or cloth uh, which is uh, more comfortable and which can absorbent or uh, good color retentions, whatever dyes can be applied it can be retained uh, during the process and it can dyes and prints well whatever you want apply dye or printed in the material it can cooperate very well. It is easily washable and it is a very strong it will not get damaged that easily and it drops well easy to handle and sew uh, inexpensive. So, these are all the advantages if you go for cotton materials and the disadvantages is shrinks in hot water if you put it in hot water the cloth material will get shrinks and wrinkles easily. So, easily it will get wrinkle and weakened by perspirations and sun if we keep it for environmental condition that will get day by day degradations or biodegradations burns easily it can easily burn uh, with the fire affected by mildew. So, these are all the disadvantages using cotton material another one is uh, linen uh, which is uh, obtained on flax flax is the fiber name linen is the fabric name. So, this is the difference fiber name is flax linen is a fabric name. So, world oldest textile fiber dates back to stone age 5000 years, a cellulosic fiber from stem of flax plant, towels, sheets and tablecloths are called linens. So, this kind of short cloth or short items which is called linen. So, again the linen or flax having the their own advantages and disadvantages, the linen material are very strong, comfortable, uh, hand washable or dry cleanable absorbent, dyes and prints well, uh, resist dirt and stains, durable, withstand high heat, lint free. So, these are all the advantages if you go for linen material. Uh, it also having some disadvantages like uh, which is gets wrinkles easily, can be expensive, uh, shrinks, burns easily, affected by mildew and perspirations, reveals, difficult to remove greases, signs if ironed. So, these are all the disadvantages of linen or flax. Another class of uh, fiber material which is wool, uh, which is uh, animal based material, protein fiber from sheep or lambs, which can produce wool. Worsted wool is higher quality with long staple fibers over 2 inches and natural insulators with again insulate heat or uh, electricity. The term wool can only apply to all animal hair fibers that is very important wool means which is animal based product including the hair of cashmere or angora goat as well as the specialty hair fibers of camel, alpiasa, elama or vecuma. These are all the examples shown here uh, which is produced wool again the advantage and disadvantages of wool is advantages which is warm lightweight material wrinkle resistant it will not get a wrinkle as a good absorbent and dyes well comfortable durable greases well easy to tailor recyclable. So, these are all the major advantages of wool uh, similarly it have some disadvantages like which is affected by moths shrinks with heat and moisture needs special care dry cleaning absorbs odors scratchy on skin weakens when wet harmed by bleach perspiration. So, if you do these kind of activities wool will get uh, decomposed or disposed. Another major class of fiber is the silk, uh, silk worms spin cocoons in filaments. Filament is a very long fine continuous thread it can take many as 500 cocoons to create one blouse. So, silk is another material which is shown in the picture uh, silk product. Uh, which is having some advantages like uh, which is very soft and uh, drafts well, dyes and prints well, very strong, lightweight, persist soil, mildew and moths, comfortable absorbent. So, some of the disadvantages of silk is which is expensive, needs special care, dry cleaning, 
uh, you can't use soap or uh, wet cleaning and uh, stains with water yellows with age weakened by perspiration sun soap attacked by insects silverfish etc so these are all the disadvantages in case of uh, silk so another class is uh, leather or sewed and fur so leather a tough flexible material made from animal hides or skins animals usually includes cattle which belongs to cows or steers sheep goat pig reptiles these are all the animals where we can get the leather products sewed leather that has a rough nappy finish fur soft hairy coat of an animal some countries prohibit seals and leopards being used so leather uh, materials also having some advantages like uh, which is a uh, durable it can uh, the life is very long and very strong and flexible comfortable warm these are all the advantages and disadvantages scarce means uh, the availability is very less and expensive these two are uh, very big disadvantages and in case of uh, a few advantages is a uh, durable soft flexible warm uh, whereas in disadvantages scarce and expensive manufactured fibers is another class of uh, fiber means synthetic fibers that is called manufacturing fibers so manufactured fibers are fibers created by manufacturing process of any substance that is not a fiber a cellulose from generated fibrous substance in plants non cellulosic or synthetic made from petrochemical products the process raw material melted or dissolved to form a thick syrup and liquid extruded through spinner rut extruded filaments stretched and hardened into fibers so manufacturing means the process via manufacturing if we make some fiber that is called manufacturing fibers it may be plant based or it may be artificially uh, especially for cellulose which is produced for petrochemicals by using these methods so another class of artificial or man made uh, fiber is uh, rayon uh, the first manufactured in 1894 by the american viscous company used during world war 1 for industrial products and derived from wood pulp cotton linters or vegetable matters rayon lead to crepe velvet and satin fabrics so using advantages of uh, rayon is Uh, soft and comfortable drapes well durable highly absorbent dyes and prints well no static or pilling problems inexpensive color fast may be washable so these are all the advantages of using rayon uh, some of the disadvantages also there in rayons where wrinkles easily unless treated you have to do treatment otherwise it will get wrinkles very easily uh, low resiliency heat sensitive susceptible to mildew stretches weakens when wet fabric shrinks if washed may need dry cleaning so these are all the disadvantages of rayon another class of uh, artificial or synthetic polymer which is acetate uh, which is developed in early 20th century produced in 1924 by the selenes corporations used to line coats and fabrics so advantages of using acetate or man made uh, fabrics are luxurious appearance you can see some of the cloth and the different colors here which is uh, gives lux uh, luxurious appearance crisps soft hand wide range of color dyes and prints well drapes well resist shrinkage molds and mildew low moisture absorption relatively fast drying no pilling little static so these are all the good advantages of this acetate based synthetic fiber material uh, disadvantages of this synthetic fiber material are which requires dry cleaning you can't go for uh, wet cleaning and which is uh, strength is very weak and uh, heat sensitive if you heat it uh, small uh, high temperature it will get uh, discombose or decompose poor abrasion resistance and dissolved by nail polish removal so if you use any chemical like a simple solvent acetones or something this can be soluble so this is the biggest disadvantages of this acetate fibers so again uh, nylon uh, which is uh, another class of 
uh, synthetic fibers which is invented in 1938 by DuPont which is a famous uh, company. First synthetic fibers with a nylon and made completely from petrochemicals in an experimental laboratory. So, the nylon which is uh, produced in petrochemicals. So, nylon having some good advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages are lightweight materials, exceptional strength, abrasion resistant, easy to wash, resist shrinkage and wrinkles, resilient, uh, pleat retentive, fast drying, low moisture absorbency, can be pre colored or dried in a wide range of colors, resist damage from oil and many chemicals, insulating properties. So, these are all the advantages. Uh, disadvantages of using nylon is static and pilling, poor resistant to sunlight, low absorbency, picks up oils and dyes in wash, uh, heat sensitive. So, these are all the uh, disadvantages of nylon. Another class of uh, synthetic uh, fibers which is acrylic, uh, which is manufactured in the 1950s by DuPont, again the famous uh, company, textile company, originally used for blankets and sweaters. Uh, because of its resembled wool, acrylics are this kind of material which is uh, initially used as a blankets and sweaters. Uh, advantages of uh, this acrylic fibers are lightweight, soft, warm, wool like hand, dyes to bright colors, machines washables, quick drying, resilient, retained shape, resist shrinkage and wrinkles, wool like, cotton like or blended appearance excellent plate retentions, resist moths, oil, chemicals. The disadvantages of acrylic uh, fibers, low absorbency, develop static, pilling, heat sensitive, weak, dissolved by nail polish removal. So, these kind of uh, disadvantages if you use acrylic as a fabric or fabric material. Another class of artificial uh, fiber material which is a polyester again the polyester which is synthetic fiber developed in 1950s by DuPont. DuPont play major role to synthesize all kind of this fabric material especially synthetic fabric materials. It helps with the durability of dry clean only. So, polyester you have to go for dry clean the material shown here and the fibers such as wool, acetates or rayon. So, some of the advantages using as a polyester as a fiber or fabric material which is a very strong crips but the soft hand resist stretching and shrinkages, washable or dry cleanable, quick drying, resilient resist wrinkles, abrasion resistant, resistant to most chemicals, color fast, strong, durable, dyes well. So, these are all the advantages. Uh, polyester also have some of the disadvantages which is holds oily stains. That means, once some oil sticks something is pasted on it, it will not go easily low absorbency, difficult stain removal, after absorbing the oil stain it will not removable and static and pilling problems. So, these are all the major disadvantages using polyester as a fabric material. Another class is uh, spandex which is uh, developed in uh, 1959 by DuPont. Again DuPont prepared so many artificial or synthetic fiber fabric materials and stretches over 500 percent without breaking. So, this is elongation spandex which is uh, used for uh, stretchable or elongatable. So, which is having some advantages like uh, very lightweight materials, retains original shape, abrasion resistant, uh, stronger than rubber, soft, smooth, supple, uh, resist body oils, perspirations, lotions, detergents etcetera, no static or pilling effect. So, these are all the some of the advantages of uh, wearing uh, spandex. In case of disadvantages, white yellow with the age. So, later if we keep on the color will change, heat sensitive, uh, harmed by chlorine bleach and uh, non absorbent. So, these are all the some of the disadvantages if spandex used as a cloth material or fiber material. Uh, some of them are microfibers, microfibers uh, the picture shown here. Uh, small fibers, uh, newest trend in fashions using microfibers. The first developed in 1989 by DuPont. Uh, ultra fine fibers that means the fiber material is very very thin and small materials. Denier is a unit of measurement 
used to identify the thickness of diameter of the fiber. So, this is the instrument or the measurement which can be identified how much diameter of uh, thickness of the fiber. Advantages of microfibers are extremely drapeable, very soft, luxurious hand, washable or dry cleanable, syrup resistant, strong, insulates against wind, rain and cold. Disadvantages is uh, very much heat sensitive. Another class of uh, artificial uh, fibers are lyocell. Uh, lyocell again is a man made uh, fiber materials. Lyocell is the newest of the cellulosic manufactured fibers. The trade name is tensile uh, in the market which is always called tensile. Advantages of lyocells is uh, absorbent, biodegradable, strong, resist sunlight, aging and the abrasions. These are all the some of the advantages and in case of disadvantages susceptible to mildew, used to make reusable woven materials, fashion fabrics, soft denims and shirts. So, fiber trade associations, uh, cotton incorporated marketing and research organizations which is exclusively to look cotton materials and the national cotton council, central organizations of the cotton industry also based on the cotton industry. Wool mark Americas in promotes wool and wool blend products exclusive for wool products and the Moher Councils of America promotional organization for US Moher producers. So, fabrics uh, influence on fashions. So, some of the fabrics cloth uh, shown here uh, which is uh, recently uh, used for fashion technology also. The cut and style of garments have always been determined by fiber and fabric. Fabric will continue to influence fashion as availability and technology change. So, some of the textile process the earlier oldest one uh, followed by later one and the latest one. So, these are all the textile process from the ancient to today. Uh, manufacturing innovations includes Eli Whitney cotton jeans, Joseph Jacquard loam synthetic fibers. So, these are all the some of the textile process. Uh, making synthetic fibers, uh, this is a unit. Uh, extrusion is the synthetic textile process in which soil raw materials are dissolved by chemicals are melted with the heat to form a thick liquid that is extruded or forced out through the tiny holes of the device called a spinneret to create long fibers. So, such a way we can make fibers. How fibers become a fabric? Uh, so, weaving and knitting are the two primary methods for making fibers into fabric. So, these two are very very important method like a weaving and knitting. A finished fabric is fabric that has gone through all the necessary finishing process and is ready to be used for manufacturing garments. So, finished uh, fabrics means which we can undergo all kind of process finally, it can be ready to usable. Types of weaves and knights, uh, weaves are woven fabrics are composed of two set of yarns with one set running the length and the other set running crosswise. Uh, type of weaves are plain weaves, uh, basic weave simple interlacing of a wrap and filling yarn, twill weaves interlacing wrap and filling yarns in the progressive alterations, uh, satin weave. So, there are three types of weave will be there based on the uh, chains or uh, length of the fabric materials. So, which is shown here with this picture, plain weave uh, which is uh, like this and uh, twill weave which is uh, more close connected and uh, tan weaves which is uh, having more space in between. So, such a way the weaves or knights can be prepared. Again this is uh, another class of knights or uh, knighted fabrics are made from only one set of yarns that run in the same direction. So, one set of run yarn will either in the may be horizontal or vertical it will run one side. Uh, Wales are the ridges that run lengthwise in the fabric, courses run crosswise. So, somehow this is called a uh, specific example of knights. Textile and fashion marketings, uh, yarns and fibers are transformed into fabrics through the magic of creativity and technology. Textile fibers, yarns, fabrics, fur and leather are the basic building blocks of all fashion products. Uh, summary of the lecture is uh, we have seen the history of fibers and uh, fiber material which is uh, artificial and uh, natural fiber materials examples 
and the source and the basics of some of the fibers and the sources of uh, some fibers especially the properties and advantages and disadvantages of natural as well as uh, synthetic fibers. Uh, similarly, I have seen fibers from its raw material. What are the raw material which is can be uh, used to get the fiber material? The questions of uh, this lecture is uh, what are fibers and uh, what are the raw materials uh, for fibers? Type of fibers and its availability, uh, properties of fibers explains, uh, fiber begins fabric how explains. So, within this we conclude today lecture, thank you.